no foundation makeup routine can be achieved easily with the products that I've used today for blemishes and redness without foundation. But before we get started, if you like this content, make sure that you subscribe because you don't want to miss future uploads. Everything that I use or mention will be linked in the description box below. Holy grail and for good reason. The Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour. Now a lot of people moisturize and then they prime. To me, this is not only a moisturizer, but it works well as a primer too. Because it fills my pores, but it fills my pores with moisturizer which is good for my skin but can have one product that does two jobs and I don't need another one then I'm gonna go the route with just one step get it done especially if you're busy and you're running out the door this is perfect now you don't need a whole lot of this I just take a little bit and I put it in places like so but this will fill your pores and it will hydrate them and plump them and make you look more youthful because it has hyaluronic acid and it has aloe vera. The next step is concealer. I prefer to do the concealer now because I want to make sure that all of my imperfections and everything is covered with the concealer, which is what it's meant for, as well as also highlight me. And you'll see what I'm talking about as we continue on. I do like to go down the side of my nose, under my eye, and up. And then I do fill this in. Because I have a lot of redness on my cheeks. And this will highlight from within and make it look like that I'm glowing naturally. My nose, my chin, and of course my forehead here. I know some of you might be like, oh my god, that's such a lot of um, concealer. Actually, it's really not because I'm going to be using a damp beauty sponge. The damp beauty sponge will help buff it out. The beauty sponge is made to pick up the excess that you don't need. So you're not putting too much because this will get rid of it. We're just going to go ahead and get up in there and go across and I bring it down as I go and I just fill all that in and I go up around my eye okay and then you can see here I can just go ahead and use all that I have to bring it down my face and that's all covered right and as you can see that redness is almost gone just from the littlest bit of concealer and I put it down my face look at that Get into my chin, move it around, and get my forehead. I took my concealer and I started here. And then after I did the concealer here, what was left, I buffed all the way down and I eliminated foundation and I'm, I'm completely covered. The icing on the cake, the next step and the next product, Clinique Super Powder Double Face Makeup. This is my holy grail and it's amazing. Just use what comes with it, this little, this little pad. You swipe it and then just put it on. It makes everything so flawless. And this is marketed as a super powder double face makeup. So even though it's a powder, it's still considered a makeup. And it covers everything so flawlessly. And as you can see, I'm no longer red. Everything is completely hid. It gives a very natural look. Skin that's like you, but better, you know, and you're not cake face. My favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It's a matte bronzer. It looks like this. So we'll be using a dome shaped brush like this. And I'm going to put this in here and then I'm going to rotate upward. And I follow my natural bone structure. And it gives me a beautiful carved out look. You can see that is exactly where my jaw is inside. And you just put your finger there, you can always fill it. And you just bring that in. Now I'm not saying you have to bring it all the way into your face, but you do want to see a little bit of warmth when you're looking forward. But then when you turn, you're really going to see 
the sculpting of it, right? I like to up around my forehead, put it up, bring it down, and bring it down into, and I just do big circular motions down into the bronzer. Then you can always put some under your chin down to help and then just connect it up that's it it's so easy it's so beautiful and now it looks warm and sun kissed the next up is blush jacqueline rouge romance a little bit of tempting and pretty posh mixed together now you want your blush to be right on top of the bronzer at the high cheek up into the top of the cheekbone and into the hairline like right there you don't want to bring it all the way into here you want to keep it up in here. Now, just for a little bit of added flush to the face, I'm going to tap my nose, tap my forehead, and my chin. A brush that looks like this. I'm going to just go right at the bottom of my brow and down the side of my nose around. The easiest way, give a little warmth to your own nose. Just like so. And that's all you gotta do. Jacqueline Hill color iced. I put it right here on the top of the high points of my face and wrap it around. Not bringing it too far in because you don't want to see that. You want to see it when you turn. On the tip of my nose and and that's Last it. Last step is just to finish everything off with a little bit of uh, setting spray. Enjoyed this video please make sure to go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about makeup, go ahead and watch this video next. I'll see you next time. Bye.